Hey, 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 all you absolutely extraordinary folks out there. So listen, how's your morning going so far? Is everything working out exactly like you want it to? Are things kind of like wonky so far? Are you kind of wishing you should go back to bed? Are you having a really, really rock star morning where, man, if you think it, it's happening for you? I can tell you my morning has been a little wonky and that's okay but as I was driving to work that's usually whenever I get the most time to think about what I'm going to share with you that and working out but primarily because there's just so much going on and I do the same drive every day twice a day and this morning um this hot this thought hit me why is it that when someone else wants us to do something, whether it's make a change in our career path, pick that person that they've got picked out for us to get into a relationship or get married to, or um, even if it's just to start a new hobby or, or, or something along those lines, why is it that very rarely does that work out really well for us? Why is it at the end of the day we're left going, Wait a second. I did what they want me to do, and now why do I feel like this? You guys, like, you're a part of the equation. I, I don't know if you've heard that lately or if you have it, but if you have it, I'm going to say it again. You're a part of the equation, you see. You're not just some blood-filled, oxygen-filled space that's here on this planet for other humans or even a deity or a career field or our parents or our children or our friends and family to manipulate into situations. Why do you think they do that? Because it makes them feel more comfortable. When they can push you into a certain position that makes them feel more comfortable then they've achieved their goal, right? Because that's kind of what humans do while they're on this planet is they're trying to have the least resistance to make themselves be able to stay in their little corner and point fingers and push us in certain directions and feel comfortable with what they're doing. Very rarely, and when you find people who are like this, hold on to them. Very rarely will you have folks in your life who do not have their best interest in mind. They actually have yours. If you find these people, grab a hold of them and make them your besties, okay? At the end of the day, surround yourself with those few people who have your best interest in mind and not their own when it comes to you. Find those people who want to help you find your truth. Forget your news feed. Forget your friends and family who think for 40 years now that they've been able to tell you what to do and you've seen that help you fall flat on your face because it's not a part of who you are. It's only fulfilling a debt contract that they've given you. Surround yourself with people who don't do that, okay? Because what's going to happen is you're going to come up empty every day single time. There's an uh, originality and an authenticity that lives inside of you, and it can only be satisfied by being you fully, apart from the manipulation, finger-pointing desires and wants and needs of others. And I'm not saying just walk around this mud ball car called earth and take and take and take and take and take and take and take. No, you're here to give. You're here to receive love and give love. But if you are at the end of the day only doing what someone else wants for you and it's never um, satisfied in your heart it will slip away don't know who needs that word out there but I love y'all have a great day word <laughs>